this profile, we get to know Natalie Quintero, a systems engineer working on the Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket at Boeing. Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to assemble multiple stages of a rocket, test and prepare that rocket for launch? Well, that's exactly what Natalie Quintero does. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so tell me, what is your job position? So I'm a systems engineer for Boeing working on the Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket, which is part of the Artemis program. At uh, what point in your life did you discover your passion for space or human space flight? When I was a little girl, I loved airplanes, going on airplanes. My dad uh, is a pilot and he taught me a lot of that, you know, whenever we would go to travel. Uh, I'm from originally from Caracas, Venezuela, and I would come on summer vacations to Florida and it would be awesome to see, you know, the airplane taking off and that's what ignited my passion to aviation and when I went to college I was about an hour away from where they were launching rockets and I'm like, wow, I've never seen that work from where I'm from and that really sparked my inner space nerd. I'm particularly curious how a young Latina girl in Venezuela made her way to the U.S. and obviously now to NASA and Boeing. How did that happen? Ever since, you know, I was a little girl, I, I always lean towards the science, like math, physics. Um, I like building stuff. I, I like to draw more like technical drawing. I discovered that was something I really enjoyed. And being my dad a pilot, my mom was actually an industrial engineer, it kind of influenced my path towards aerospace engineering. I started researching and that was not a major offer from where I was from. So looking into the United States, I you know, became a first generation immigrant coming here to study what I was passionate about. And that gave me a, a broad range of opportunities being you know, Latina, first generation immigrant, and also minority in the fields of STEM. What did you study in school? So I went to college at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. I studied my bachelor's of science in aerospace engineering. And then I did my master's degree in systems engineering with Cornell University. Oh, go Big Red. Yes, go Big Red. Awesome. Uh, so if we could play, I want to play this game where you can go back in time. So if you could go back to your, let's say, sixth grade self, what would you tell young Natalie? I would tell her to be fearless. Don't listen to what other people might have negative thoughts on your path follow your passion, and continue going. You seem to have done a pretty good job of that. I think so, pretty well, yes. What one quality do you have that you think has contributed to your success? I believe that confidence is a, a skill to have for a path of success, and also the skill to multitask. Different things at the same time has helped me. So multitasking is a big part of your job now yes, at SLS? Yes, I do, yes. Different tasks are happening at the same time. We're providing you know, charts to a customer, we're building, different concepts and just having that ability to transition from different tasks at the same time just because you know we're running on a crunch time there's a schedule to meet and having that ability actually makes you succeed. What one quality do you think a person shouldn't have if they want to succeed in your job? I would say uh, having a negative attitude can actually uh, be detrimental. So if someone thinks the glass is always half empty no go. Yeah, I would yeah. say no go. When things get challenging and, you know, tests might not go the same way you thought they would, don't be disappointed. You know, it's part of learning. And, but keeping and having a positive attitude is what's going to get you there. Last question. Where do you see yourself 20, 30 years from now? Hopefully contributing to human exploration. Uh, maybe, I don't know, going to space one day. That would be amazing. Really? You'd go into space? Yes. I would, I would love to. 